Hi guys, this is William and welcome to the next video where we'll be discussing NPC. So NPC characters, that stands for non-player character. These are characters that are in your game world that you can interact with, that you can give items to, they can give items back to you, you can have a dialogue with them, you can have uh, um, different puzzles with them. Uh, so that is what an NPC is. Now to create an NPC, we need to go to the character area. Now we visited this area before in the very first video when we created our main character. This character. Now to create an NPC, we need to click on the plus icon and a new character will be created, but we need to give it a name. So I'm going to call my new character Joe. And I'm going to ensure Joe is selected. Now here I have an outfit. How will Joe look in the game world? So I will just denest the the walk and the standing animations. Now, as our like our main character, we have the front, back, left, and right. We have the same for our Joe character. But because this is an NPC, our character will always be forward facing. Uh, our character or the NPC will always be forward facing. Uh, we won't. We don't need to have the Joe, the character, walk left and right or walk backwards. He's just going to be stationary in the scene. Now, the way that we do it in the game engine is just to be tidy. I'm going to remove the walk animation back left and right, but I'm going to leave the front walk animation. Not that I'm going to have him move, but just I want an image to remain at least one in the walking animation set. Standing animations, same thing. So I select the one I want to remove, and then I click on remove selected entry. Select, remove, select, remove. Now I have two images. Both are front facing. And Visionaire will always display this image. So now we need to also add in the actual graphic. Now the graphic I have is this, the main character image with a blue shirt. Okay, so I'm going to use that for, for Joe as well. Joe character. Just imagine that it's a separate character with a, with the own graphics. Now to, to add this and how this works, this was always referenced, also referenced in earlier videos. But simply what you need to do is you need to choose the direction, click on the plus icon, click here to browse to the image. And here I've got my front image. So I'm just going to select it. And there you go. And I'm going to click OK. And then I'm just going to add my animation center as well. And put that there. I'm going to do, to do exactly the same for the front standing animation. Now I want the front and the walking animation, the animation center, to be exactly the same. One way you can do that is take a look at these numbers. This is the animation center 157495. So I'm going to apply the same here 157495. So my animation center has been set for my NPC character Joe. So now I need to set up the, the properties of this character. And this I do under the property screen. Here I click and now I'm going to give it a, a, the character name. So I'm going to click, I'm going to enter Joe as the name. And we also need to set a starting position, character stands at. Now what this does is this this tells Visionaire where the NPC needs to stand when the game loads. And this takes the form of an object in the game world. But right now, if I click on this to select an, uh, a spot to start, I have door, player start position, fish tank, inventory key. That's existing objects in our scene. So I'm going to create a new one called NPC start and then choose that here as the character stands at. So I'm going to go back to my scene. I'm going to choose hallway. I'm going to click here on the plus and choose NPC start. Or I can call it Joe start, right? And then what I need to do is I need to set the position. Where does this, uh, where is this in the game world? So I'm going to click on that little button and I'm going to put Joe right here. So that's the first thing. So now we know where our character needs to stand, but we haven't yet set our character to stand here 
And that you do on the character again. You choose Joe. You go to properties. Character stands at. You click there. And then you choose NPC start. Right. So now our character will load at the at the position of our NPC start that we chose and that we created. Okay. So now let's quickly uh, run our scene and take a look. Okay. Our character is here. Now what you can see is that there is no hotspot. Like here I, I have walk to fish tank. Look at the top here, walk to fish tank. But that doesn't happen when I hover over Joe here. Um, and that has got to do with the settings. So I'm going to quickly just go to my uh, command area, my interface command area. My interfaces cycle and then here I have walk to look and use. So now here on each of these, we need to ensure command command can be used on objects and characters. Set each of your different commands to be objects and characters. Now, if I run my game, ah, walk to Joe, look at the top here. Walk to Joe, look at Joe, use Joe. So we've got that. The next thing we need to do is we need to go to the character screen and just go to the properties of Joe. Now, the one other item here, as you can see, there's a font. Uh, and here we choose what kind of font is used when you talk to the character. If you don't specify an option here, nothing will happen when you talk to the character because there's no font to use. Uh, so you, I can choose the default font. But more so, I can add a new font under fonts. So I can, I can duplicate this font and I can call this Joe font and I can change the color to be, let's make it a blue. No, let's make it a purple. Now on Joe, on the properties, I'm going to choose Joe font. And this is then the font that will appear when you when you talk to him. Okay. Now we have our character. He's in the game world. He's registered as a hotspot. So we can move over him and we can do different things. Um, nothing happens yet when we interact with him. Uh, but we know he's got a font that he uses if we interact with him. But nothing happens yet. We need to set that up. So all good so far. Actions on your NPC characters are done in the character area here under the actions page. So I am going to add a new action and I'm going to call it, I'm going to have it be the use command and then the action part will be display text. Now here I can say, hi, my name is Joe. And then we need to choose which character is saying this. Joe is saying this. So I'm going to just save here. And then I'm going to just run the game. Now, if we use Joe, he says, hi, my name is Joe. Uh, and now from here, you can add different interactions. I can add a look command and then a display text and have my main character say, I think his name is Joe and just save it. And now if I look at Joe, I think his name is Joe. If I talk to him, Joe responds, hi, my name is Joe. So this is the basics of uh, implementing NPCs.